Good afternoon, everybody, uneducated economist here. So, uh, let's talk a little bit about lumber. Uh, lumber had a huge move. I mean, just a couple of weeks ago, we were looking at a thousand per thousand, over a thousand per thousand on the lumber futures market. Today, we're down into the 600s. And if you go and you look at lumber cash price, this is what the mills are pretty much charging at like at the moment, like when you go to the mill and you actually make a purchase from them, not from a futures contract, but just straight to the mill, you're gonna find that the cash price for lumber has dropped and dropped dramatically. And I'll leave a link down in the description to the uh, to the bar charts uh, linked to to the uh, cash lumber price. I think it was right around 670, 660 per thousand, uh, somewhere in there. <clears throat> And you're going to find that that's going to transfer into the retail price at some point here in the future. Now, how far out really depends on your lumber yard, your, the, the supplier that you are using. If they have an extremely high turnover rate, then you're going to find the lumber prices dropping fast at those lumber yards. They want to stay in competition. And not only do they want to be in competition, they want to get all the competition. They want all of it out there. And so when you hear somebody say like lumber price gouging or keeping the prices elevated for greed purposes, it's not going to happen. The lumber yards are very competitive, especially when it comes to lumber. We don't make a lot of money. For those of you who don't know, I work at a lumber yard. We don't make a lot of money off the lumber itself. What you make money off of is all the hardware, all the, all the other parts and components that go into building a house. The lumber itself just really draws in the customer and it's the biggest ticket biggest part of the whole ticket i mean it's like that's what everybody focuses in on so the margins on lumber are very low and they're very tight so if you can drop the price you're going to do it because you're going to get in more customers if you do it that way and then you'll be able to sell all the profitable stuff so when you hear somebody say like they're just keeping lumber elevated for greed purposes no it it doesn't it doesn't work like that and i you know if you can get that part out of your head then you can kind of focus in on some of the other things that are taking place now it, it's been something that I've said many times that there is going to be an inventory buildup at some point we'll see the lumber prices drop and we saw it happen we saw that taking place right now and I was reporting on this that I couldn't see the lumber prices falling yet and everywhere I looked the futures prices the retail prices the vendors prices everything was elevated I'm talking like a couple of months ago but we knew the inventory was levels were rising we could we knew this because some of the mills were actually curtailing development they were cutting back on production during a time when lumber prices were at a thousand per thousand. And I knew, wait a minute, this isn't right. Now their excuse for it at the time was that they could not get this lumber away from the mill fast enough. They said that there was a demand out there, but the lack of available trucking prevented them from getting this lumber away from the mill fast enough for them to stay in production. They just simply just didn't have the room after they made it. So, I got to thinking about that for a minute. I'm like, you know, I don't know if that's exactly right. Now, I mean, this is what they were reporting on. This is what I, you know, had the links to, but it wasn't necessarily what I was feeling. Like we, I was reporting on it. We are definitely experiencing a slowdown. Now I said the building industry was still moving. Like, I mean, there was still a lot taking place when it came to residential construction, even at my yard. But the phone calls, the retail, the walk-in, the individual, that has slowed down dramatically and that has a huge impact on the lumber industry there is a lot of onesie twosie weekend warrior homeowner purchases of lumber that's outside of just the building industry but everybody focuses in on the building industry as the main component to what's going to happen with lumber but there's a whole retail side of things as well and i focused in on that retail side and i said man this is falling and this is falling fast it's going to have an impact on the lumber but because everybody saw this huge lumber demand coming from the building industry, they thought, nope, it's just a lull because of trucking or something else. So I don't think that's the case anymore. I really think that there was an overproduction during the time that it was selling at a thousand per thousand. But now they're sitting on a ton of lumber that lumber yards really aren't selling. They don't really need this much. And we're following the, watching the prices fall and falling fast. So... Keep an eye on that cash price. You're gonna see that continue to go down. I have a feeling that that's probably gonna end up being at a very reasonable price comparatively to the last couple of years. So when I say reasonable, I'm thinking five to 700, somewhere in that range. So 600 per thousand, 
to me is going to end up being probably a very reasonable price when it comes to lumber, but it's not gonna stay there. It's probably gonna undershoot that and then back overshoot it again as the supply tightens up and the mills go into curtailments in the middle of summer during the time of a possible recession kicking in. I mean, it's gonna be, it's gonna be very interesting to watch this take place. If you are looking to do those jobs, I would give it like two months. In two months, you're probably gonna find lumber a lot cheaper. Now, again, that can change at any given time. I mean, if you're if you're trying to time the market, that's what I would be shooting for. Two months from now, that would put you around, I don't know, July, August, right when you would think that lumber would be like in the most demand. So, what do I want to add to this? Um, there was something else I wanted to say about this that uh, that I thought was interesting. Oh. That was it. The demand. See, that was the that was the other thing. Like, we when you when you look at the demand for lumber, the decision to purchase that lumber had been made like a while ago, and you have to think about that. So that when you're purchasing lumber right now, the decision to purchase that lumber, or at least to start that project, when it comes to framing a house. The decision to do that was a while ago. So you were making decisions, or people were making decisions, taking out loans three, four, five, six months ago that are now coming into fruition right now. So the people who are purchasing lumber at this point, they were the ones who were making decisions six months ago, you know, three to six months ago. So now, what do we see? Okay. We see the prices coming down, people are leery, they're not quite sure of what's gonna happen. So now there's gonna be a hold back on what projects start because they're not sure. There's so this uncertainty out there, right? So now with this uncertainty that's taking place, they're gonna hold back on you know starting new projects to see where lumber could actually fall to. Because if it goes down over the next couple of months, well then they're thinking, well, I don't wanna start a project until I know where the bottom is. But then again, a lot of people don't realize it that once they make that decision, what happens six months down the road is really where where the rubber meets the road, right? That's where the projects really come into to existence and where the money is really starting to flow. So again, those who are making decisions to start a project now, when the lumber prices are falling, are gonna come into a time here where they might meet that, that low price. However, what if things change? They're, at any given time, circumstances can change. Keep an eye on that, on that cash price. Keep an eye on your local builder supply. Keep an eye on new housing starts. Put all these things together and watch what happens. I bet you anything, we are going to find the best price for lumber is probably gonna end up being, like I said, right in the middle of summer when most people would not be expecting it. I don't know. That's what I got. Uneducated economist. You guys let me know.